Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time Gaming video. If you've been keeping up with our videos lately, you'll know we've been painting lots of Star Wars Armada. More recently, the Republic Fleet, but of course we need someone for them to fight against. So we went out and picked up the Separatist fleets and the se Separatist ships for, for the actual game itself. And they are absolutely fantastic. There is some... Uh, few details missing though um, or I wanted to add a little bit more to them as we've done with the Republic Fleet and in this video I'll show you what I've done before we get started on that though let's get that kettle on So I thought the first thing we could do is have a closer look at some of these vessels. I mean these smaller ships are absolutely amazing. Wouldn't have been my first sort of choice to go for in the core box. I'd like something a bit more iconic. Um, these are quite, I think, quite forgettable uh, in the movies. However, they're great, and I think they're, you know, they're, they're going to be a great addition to the tabletop. For me though, the Munificent glass frigate is definitely more memorable, and the detail on this thing is absolutely unbelievable. You can see there's so much there. Um, I am a little bit disappointed that they haven't gone into, you know, the painting it a little bit more. It's like sort of a very bare, uh, sort of browny coloured plastic, but you can see all the detail there, and it's, uh, you know, going to be really, really easy to to pull some of the details out on that one. But it's definitely one of my favourite uh, separatist vessels. You, know, you see throughout the the movies and the Clone Wars series. We'll start with the smaller vessels though, and we'll have a look at what we can add. I think one of the first things we we really want to do here is paint the you know the the bit that sits in the stand black. I really, really don't like the, the how they've gone with the white. I think it stands out way too much, and you can see it through the clear plastic. So the first thing I'm doing is just popping a little bit of black paint on there. Doesn't really matter what you use. I'm using the contrast black Templar, um, and it drops on fine, as you can see. Absolutely no issues with. Uh, with the actual paint uh, sticking to it. Um, I know with some of these Armada ships you can find that the paint pulls away quite a lot um, but they have doesn't really do it with these ones. And the second thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of detail just to the uh, engines and I'm going to start with Avalan Sunset. Now this is a, a paint from Games Workshop again it's sort of a darker yellow than the actual uh, paint that they've used on the engines themselves um, but I think it gives uh, a little bit more to the engine it, it adds a little bit more shading because all they've done is put a really bright yellow on there and I wanted to go darker and then add a small highlight just to the center and I'm going to do that with uh, flash kits yellow and then all I'm doing is popping a little bit of flash kits yellow as you can see here just to the center of each of the engines and what this does if you've seen all the, the all the other videos, you'll know it adds that little bit more to the engine, makes it look like it's glowing, makes it a little bit more realistic. Of course, if you wanted to, you could leave the the yellow that they they actually come straight out of the box, and they look you know it looks fine. Um, but I really wanted it to to look a little bit brighter, so I went with this sort of two uh, two colours on there. The next thing I'm going to do with these is coat pretty much the whole thing with null oil. Now with the grey sort of areas and the you know some of the detail uh, around the vessel uh, straight off the bat, I'm just going to go straight out the pot with the null oil because I really want it to be quite dark. However, on the flat panelled areas and that sort of thing, uh, I'm actually going with like a 50/50 mix of null oil and water. Um, purely because I don't want it to darken it down too much because I think that, so the, the actual paint scheme itself on the vessels is really really good and I don't want to lose that however I do want it, them looking a little bit more dirty so it works great on the panels um, and it obviously drops into the uh, recesses of the, the uh, panels quite nicely so adds that shading in really really well it's definitely missing around like these dark grey areas you know there's no shade in there whatsoever so that straight away pops out and looks really really good um, as you can see here you know you look at the, the two vessels side by side what the one on the right we've uh, we've put on there one on the left we haven't so you can see it's darkened the panels down quite nicely 
the areas around the engine uh, pod and um, this darker grey area between the you know in the middle of the ship between the, the rear and the front of the vessel looks so much better with this shading on there Noel Noel does wonders with anything like this and to be honest I'm going to pretty much leave it at that just do the same thing with the other vessel the Magnificent class ship I'm going to do pretty much the same sort of thing I uh, grabbed a little bit of null null to start with with this one and I'm going to do straight over the top of the um, you know the, the actual lighter panels where you've got the color and doing exactly the same thing with that 50 50 mix of uh, null null and water I'm just painting it straight on there you may find it pulls away from some of the areas on these flat panels because of the um, the varnish that's actually being used but it should stick pretty well uh, just give it a, a couple of seconds and go back over and you'll see it sticks really nicely these darker brown sort of areas I'm going really really thick with the null oil on these areas I'm not really bothered about keeping that brown color as it was because I don't think it looks that great but I'm going really thick on there and you can see straight away it adds so much detail especially around the engines because there's these you know the, the the molding is there but there's no shading on there which is really frustrating because this takes you know no time at all I don't understand why they, they don't do a little bit more of this out of the box but a little bit of null and oil probably you know 10 sort of 10 minutes 15 minutes and you've got it all shaded really nicely and you can already see there's a massive difference now on the uh, Clone Wars series and in the films uh, a lot of these vessels have these sort of yellow uh, windows and with the larger vessels that are being released they're already coming with the, the yellow windows along the hull so I'm going to add that in as well just a little bit of detail you don't really see it when they're on the table but for me I wanted it to really stick out I have also seen uh, on some of the reference images just the, the the front of the you know the wing areas um, that, that's got like a yellow glow as well so I went with that on there and I'm also using a little bit of artistic license just to put it on the you know the, the top and the bottom of the the vessel as well just to add that little bit more detail and makes it look a little bit more realistic now to finish that off I'm just grabbed a little bit of uh, contrast black templar I'm just painting just around where the stand sits because you've got this real really weird brown block I don't understand why that's there other than to attach it you know the, the the part that connects to the stand you know maybe that's it there but it, it, it looks a bit strange to me so I'm gonna paint it black because when you put it on the on the actual table you know you've got your space sort of themed mats and things like that it disappears quite nicely but there you go that's that's the vessels complete now see it's not a massive transformation but it has that little bit of detail it makes it look a little bit better in my mind I think it looks great I, I you know I really like the uh, munificent frigate now that's been done I think the shading works really really well in the on those brown areas and just adding that little bit of highlight with the yellow windows and lights I think looks great you can see I've also painted the the fighters make sure you do check out tomorrow's video for that it is coming out um, tomorrow uh, daytime probably around the middle of the day but make sure you check that out but thank you very much for watching guys it is really appreciated make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future content and otherwise I'll see you in the next one